Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to solve for KSP if you're given the molar solubility. We'll go over two example problems where I'll show you the full process of doing these questions, and I'll show you a shortcut so you can get it done more quickly. So our first example, we're asked to solve for the KSP of silver bromide, given that its solar, molar solubility is 5.71 times 10 to negative 7 moles per liter. So for a full process, the very first step is just to write the reaction of the solid dissociating. So we'll start with the formula of silver bromide. Silver is He with a positive one charge, and bromide is a Br with a negative one charge. So silver bromide is HeBr. Solid, it's going to break up into the ions, silver ion, which has a positive one charge, and bromide ion, which has a negative one charge. And both of these will be aqueous. Then we set up ice table. Silver bromide is a solid, and solid and liquids do not go into equilibrium, so we can just cross it out. And water initially does not contain any Ag plus there or Br minus, so the initial concentration of both these is zero and zero. The reaction will be proceeding to the right, so the concentration of both these are increasing. So for C line, it'll be plus x and plus x because they both have a coefficient of one. That's why it's just plus x instead of say two x or three x. E is the sum of the I and C line. So this would just be x and then x. Then we can set up the KSP expression, which is just the products over the reactants, the concentration of Ag plus times the concentration of Br minus, and then divided by one because the reactant is a solid and we do not include solids in equilibrium expressions. Then we can substitute the variables into the expression. So KSP will just equal x squared. x is equal to the molar solubility. Although we ignored the, eight, the solid here, if we did, had not ignored it, this would have been minus x. So x is the, amount, the moles that would dissolve per liter. And we're given the molar solubility, so we're given x. So meaning we can just plug 5.71 times 10 to negative 7 into here. And we'll get the KSP. So let's enter that in the calculator. And then that will give us 3.26 times 10 to the negative 13 as the KSP. That's the full process of converting molar solubility into KSP. Now the shortcut is just to look at how many ions would dissociate from the solid. So I'll rewrite AGBR solid down here. So you're gonna get one AG, we'll call that, or one AG, we'll call that X, and then you'll get one BR, so we'll call this X. And then these would be multiplied together, so those would just be equal to X squared, and that's the KSP. So we can just take that X and plug the value here and plug into x and that's how we would get the KSP. Now if this was 2 then you would just modify it by saying this is 2x also raising it to the power of 2 and then times x. But that's not the case here we just have 1 one ag. So let's take a look at the next sample and ap apply the shortcut. So in this next sample we're asked to determine the KSP of calcium fluoride given the molar solubility. We'll first start off with the shortcut and then I'll show you the full process of doing this question. Calcium fluoride would dissociate into one calcium, so we'll call that X, and it'll dissociate into two fluoride ions, so that'll be 2X, and then also raised to the power of 2, because the, coefic the coefficients would become the uh, exponents. This simplifies to 4X cubed. Then we can take the molar solubility and plug into X, so it'll be 4 multiplied by 2.14 times 10 to the negative 4 cubed, and I'll give you 3.9 2 times 10 to the negative 11 as a KSP, and KSP has no units. Now for the full process, let's start by writing the dissociation reaction. We have calcium fluoride solid breaking up into calcium. Calcium is alkali earth metal, so it'll have a positive 2 charge when it's dissolved, plus 2 fluoride ions, each having a negative 1 charge. Uh, because fluoride's a halogen, it'll have a negative 1 charge. Then we can set up the ice table get rid of this because it's a solid being dissolved in water. Initially water doesn't contain any of these so it'll be zero and zero. The reaction will be going towards the, the right. So this will be plus x and this will be plus 2x because of the coefficient 2. E would just be x because 0 plus x is x and then for the E line for f would just be 2x to 0 plus 2x. Then we can set up the KSP expression. KSP is going to equal the concentration of Ca2 plus divided by the concentration F minus squared because the coefficient uh, of F is a two, so squared. Then plug in the variables. 
calcium was his x and fluoride was 2x and then we square it so that gives us 4x cubed and then we just we can plug it in the molar solubility x and we'll get this as the same answer uh, equal to ksp and that's how you would do it that's how you convert the molar solubility ksp the shortcut and the long way of doing it if you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.